Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge group. This meeting is for participants of our program, the Path of Knowledge program. If anybody has any questions, you're most welcome to ask. Okay, we have many questions by Jarna. So, we'll take one by one and hopefully others will join the meeting. Number one, in spirituality, any Paap and Punya concept is there. Yes, it is there. It simply means ethical behavior. And uh, it is given in a lot of detail in the theory of karma, karmic theory, which says that if whatever we do, there are consequences. So if the consequences are good that you desire, that will be called punya. And the reverse is not so good. This is the concept. So what is the relevance to spirituality? And it is also very simple that our progress, spiritual progress, ensures that we do only good actions. Those who do not progress in spirituality because of their ignorance, they can do any kind of action without knowing and so they suffer because of their own actions. That is the connection to spiritual knowledge. Once you get the knowledge, it ensures that these bad actions are less and less. Then we get the fruits of the good actions which means complete freedom from suffering. Because most of our suffering is because of ignorance and the actions we do in, in the ignorance, darkness, that is why there is suffering. So number two, give some examples about truth. It is very simple. Our criterion for truth is that which changes is false, that which does not change is true. So there is only one example of truth, which is you, your essence. That is the experiencer or the witness. That is the only truth. Everything else is false. Anything you can, you can take any example. World, objects, bodies, people, this person, mind, thoughts, emotions, any experience. It is all false. And the experiencer is the truth. There is no other truth. So number three, how can experiencer confirm himself? He is in Chetna. So experiencer means the witness that which is having the experiences and uh, chetna is hindi word for awareness which means knowledge that i am the experiencer so experiencer has no actions it is actionless witness only so it can does not confirm does not deny it does nothing it is simply being your true nature the seeker the human being can have awareness or can be without awareness. First, you need to have the knowledge, which is the self-realization, self-knowledge, who am I? And then you need to remember it. If you can remember right now who you are, you are in awareness. Otherwise, you are in darkness. So, simply having the knowledge is a confirmation that you are in awareness. You means the human being, the creature or the seeker. Experiencer is the existence itself. It does not need to check anything about itself. So probably you are confusing experiencer with the humans. That is a problem. So go back to definitions. How we have defined everything. So my recommendation is not to mix definitions. And not to mix Hindi or Sanskrit words into English. Because it will cause a lot of confusion. Because the purpose of the program is to discipline your intellect. A lot of ignorance is because of impure language. You heard these words from here and there, then assumed a meaning and then it is actually ignorance in the mind. That is why we define everything very clearly and then we do not change it while talking. And you can confirm that it is like this. All these words are not simply words. You can verify them that they are true. Number four is, in this existence, what is the re real meaning of I? I itself means existence. What is the relation between I and existence? They are one. I am the existence. My essence is the experiencer. And the essence of the existence is also experiencer. There is no other essence. What is the meaning of essence? The part of the existence that never changes, is essential, is always found, is not an illusion. That is the experiencer itself. And when a human being is talking about the experiencer, the human says, it is me, I am the experiencer. 
because my this creature's essence is also experiencer so yes essentially i am the experiencer existence is the experiencer so this human being says i am the existence that is the meaning of i that is the correct meaning of i those who don't have this knowledge knowledge of existence oneness and self realization they will say i am the body or they will say i am the mind i am the memory i am this body i am that body like this there is a wrong identification because of ignorance the word i is used somewhere else in ignorance when the knowledge happens the i is the experiencer which is same as the existence so again all these things are cleared in the program a very detail in the chapter of self realization you will get a lot of detail number 5 how to get direct experience about existence definition of existence is that which is everything the world the bodies the minds the true the false good the bad the whole experience and also the experiencer when you put them together that will be called existence everything that exists is defined as existence the totality wholeness so right now whatever experience you are having is of existence only existence is not some special experience which is apart from the world body mind something else whatever you are witnessing right now is existence and whatever is witnessing is also existence the existence is witnessing itself in all the illusory forms it is impossible to experience anything else whenever you experience you are experiencing something in the existence and whatever is experiencing it is also existence so we say the existence is um, self evident you don't need to go somewhere to find existence because it is not an object of some kind not a special event not a special place so hopefully that is clear the definition of existence comes in first chapter number 6 how can i how can i stay in consciousness from where have to start we do not use the word consciousness this whole word this word is not there in the whole program like i said we do not use impure language if you cannot verify something in your experience that word is meaningless so our words are awareness an experiencer an existence in sanskrit atman brahman chetna all these words are there there is no word consciousness because it is a corrupt word english ordinary word ordinary people use these words and actually it is not defined properly so we don't use it so you need to define it if you want to ask any question about the word which we are not defining which we are not even using anywhere then you will need to tell me the meaning of it is it experiencer is it awareness is it some other state of mind according to our program waking state or whatever so impure language causes a lot of problem your first job is to purify your language do not write a word or do not say a word about which you don't know anything which is not given in the tradition which is not in the program otherwise it will become simply mixture of words so my suggestion is to drop all these words use that which is told in the program it is a disciplined program which means you are not allowed to mix concepts languages philosophies words otherwise you will learn nothing all these old uh, concepts and ideas they are ignorance only they are meaningless so there is no need to stay in consciousness and there is no need to start all you need to do is know who you are that is how we start on the path of knowledge know your essence and uh, that's all you are the experiencer already you can stay in awareness awareness means the knowledge of who i am how to stay in that simply remembrance once you get the knowledge remember who you are verify it that i am indeed the experiencer and then there is no need to be something else there is no need to be a body there is no need to be mind or some other concept in the mind you can drop all that as soon as you get the knowledge so we call it the awareness practice and it is also in your program continue in the program anup has a question our desires only thread which makes humans take birth again and again how to get beyond this cycle yes there are two reasons of uh, taking birth the first is desire 
unfulfilled desires and the second is whatever we call as accumulation in english it is that part of the memory which is going to cause actions and their fruits actions and consequences just like we said so there were actions that were that happened in the past and now that form must be taken again to um, get the consequences of these actions the fruits of these actions are coming for that you need a birth you need a form to complete the unfulfilled desires and uh, to get the fruits of your previous action and we can say there is one more reason to take birth that is ignorance because this memory that is taking birth so remember that you don't take birth there is something some illusory thing that is appearing and reappearing and uh, the reason for that is ignorance we say because it knows nothing else so it is trapped in this cycle so now the answer to your next question how to uh, get out of this cycle is clear because the reasons are clear now it is possible to remove these reasons so first thing we remove is ignorance and you will find that i am not in the cycle i am the experiencer of all these cycles and these cycles are simply illusions they are not my births they are nobody's birth i am not in any kind of cycle i am already liberated so the job is done simply by this much simply by knowing your true nature now you don't need to do anything because you are already beyond the cycles of death and birth what has happened is ignorance is that i am this creature who is born and it, then it is impossible to for the creature to come out of the cycle because without the birth there is no creature there is no human being without the birth so who will come out nobody and whatever is taking birth is an illusion so its freedom from the cycles will be illusion only only and how many illusions are there like this uncountable these creatures are infinite in number they are all your forms remember you are taking these forms illusory forms of the existence waves in the existence in the sea of existence so how many can you free how many can this human being free nobody it is impossible so that which is free is eternally free which is you that which is bound is eternally bound nothing can be done it is an illusion only so the bondage is also illusory the human cannot go beyond these cycles nor any other creature because they are simply appearances there is no stage or there is no situation where there is a human without a form it is not possible when there is form there is birth when taking the form is called birth so it is impossible to have a human that is liberated is it not already liberated because it is already empty emptiness the experience part or the illusion is also emptiness so it, in one sense it is already liberated simply taking forms they are simply pictures on the screen so nothing got bound actually and if you try to free something nothing gets free because it was not bound and the experiencer was never bound so there is no need to free it it is very simple once you get the knowledge all these things are simple instantly it happens if there is an ignor- ignorance that i am the human and i am bound then nothing can be done impossible nothing will happen all that can happen is little liberations little bit of freedom independence can happen for the humans like if it is bound in a bad job yes you can leave that job go to some other job if, if it is bound in a bad relation you can leave the relation go into some other relation from one bondage to another bondage probably better one more independence if this human is poor it can become rich now it is bound to money the humans can be only bound but they can be improved a little bit same way the human or this memory is bound to human form it can leave the human form take some other form which is probably better than human form the same memory was in animal form so it progressed a little bit it came into human form which is also half animal it can become something else it can progress beyond human but there will be form without form there is no creature no body no body but these bodies can be improved little bit and that is called evolution spiritual evolution that is also given in your program how the evolution happens ultimately what happens to these forms and you can guess they come from nothing they go into nothing they are waves on the sea so the waves arise from the water they fall back in water and in between also it was nothing but water 
temporary form so actually nothing needs to be done it is already dissolved and it is already dissolving automatically the wave is falling back already for few seconds in the life of existence there appears some form some kind of form it takes which is completely an illusion fake false so the only freedom is freedom from ignorance if you go beyond ignorance you have gone beyond everything all kinds of limitations because you are the existence it has no limitations it is unbounded infinite infinite potential there is potential to take any form and it has already taken all the forms because it is timeless nothing to do so hopefully it is clear ignorance is the problem nothing else is problem here everything is a beautiful creation just now i said nothing is created but whatever appears there is a name for it so sometimes we use creation just like waves are getting created out of sea we say these forms are getting created out of me i am the sea sea of potential infinite potential and i am taking all these forms at some level you can say like this although i am formless the essential nature is formless but these forms can appear because it has infinite potential but it is simply a play nothing is bound nothing is free nothing can free it nothing can bind it these all concepts are in are there because of ignorance once the ignorance is removed it is all perfect beautiful like a play like the pictures on the screen they are appearing on the screen is the screen worried that some of the pictures are bound in some kind of form they need to evolve somewhere no the screen knows that the, the movie is going to end ultimately there are no there is nobody on the screen the screen is appearing like this so it is a play sanskrit word is leela whose play my play so what happens is even if you get knowledge the play will continue because this human being cannot stop anything it is a part of the play it is a picture on the screen the picture on the screen cannot produce a movie <laughs> it is not possible what will happen that it will appear on the screen and it will disappear that is what is destined it takes birth then it dies a very simple thing so it continues the play continues but the play continues in complete light in knowledge in awareness what is happening you know and this human also knows what is truly happening so it is not a burden now now it is not a suffering this dream is not a bad dream the humans only want happiness they are not concerned with who is existence what is the essence what is this illusion hardly anybody wants to know all these things they want to be happy that is their desire so once it is known that it is a play it can happen in complete happiness the suffering goes away even if there is some suffering like bodily suffering pain or some bad experiences because you know it is an illusion it is a play there will be momentary reaction from the mind but it will not stick in the mind it will be taken very very lightly like a part of the play suppose you are watching a horror movie there are monsters in the movie if you don't know this is a movie you will be terrified but as soon as somebody tells you that look it is only a screen there are pictures only sometimes you will get afraid but when the movie ends there will be no impression on you there will be no fear in you and you will actually enjoy this movie horror movie even if it is terrifying and bad people are killing each other and so on but that is entertainment for most of the people same way people are crying there people are laughing there it will mean nothing because illusory forms so this whatever dream is there it becomes perfect when it is happening in the light of knowledge and it becomes a horror movie if it is happening in ignorance but nothing will change that which is or beyond is you already that which is limited as pictures illusory forms is this human already nothing needs to be done crystal clear isn't it once you know who you are all the questions are meaningless what should i do all these questions meaningless there is nobody to do anything there no doer i am not the doer there is no agency there it is being done and you are the witness still people drop down into ignorance many times like she was asking how to stay in awareness so it will come by practice this human being beings they need a little bit of practice to realize i am not human it is kind of impossible for the human being but still we give them a practice practice this be in knowledge so it takes away almost major part of the suffering which this human being is having because of the ignorance remember the ignorance is also illusion it is also momentary 
appearing for some time and the knowledge is also illusion it will also disappear with the human being so what do we say at least make your life easy by knowing something about yourself and this knowledge never dies the human they come and go like particles of dirt human beings they will not stay but the knowledge will stay and that is called the spiritual knowledge path of knowledge so even if you think i am a human being some people think like this even after knowledge okay i got this knowledge of the experiencer but i am human <laughs> like this they remain in darkness for some reason because they cannot think of myself as the experiencer somehow for them there is a good news that even if you reappear even if there is a rebirth the knowledge is there get the knowledge again very simple continue your life but once you are convinced that i am not the human being essentially i am the existence which is simply witnessing whatever is appearing then nothing no practice is needed nothing will make you the existence nothing will make you the experiencer or the witness no practice will turn this human being into a witness no actually there is no practice on the path of knowledge there is simply knowledge remember it for the entire life the human being cannot do more than this and actually there is no need to do anything more than this you just shift your identification from this body mind to your essence very simple today we'll end our meeting here so thank you everybody for coming in today's meeting i'll see you next time